Hi everybody, how are you? Bit of an exclusive first look this week, something new from Charvel for 2021. This is the Pro Mod San Dimas. So I'll put links to all of this obviously, but if you go over to the Charvel website and have a look, you'll notice that there's five new left-hand models for 2021. Uh, there's this, plus there's two models, uh, which are 24 fretters, one available in pink, which looks amazing. Then there's two SoCal models, more standard, all the body. And this one is the Pro Mod San Dimas Sassafras, which is uh, what the body is made of, believe it or not. These retail uh, in the UK for about £959. And let's cue some cutaways and voiceover and we'll look at the spec. The Pro Mod San Dimas features a Sassafras body with a satin finish. It has a Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge and a Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck. It has one volume, one tone, and a three-way pickup selector switch, along with the Floyd Rose 1000 series locking trem. The tone pot features a push-pull tone activation, and the volume pot features a push-pull coil split. It has a bolt-on maple neck with graphite reinforcement rods, and an ebony fretboard with 22 jumbo frets. So I think this is my first time playing a Charvel. I, I don't remember playing one before, although I may have done, tried one out here or there. I've definitely never owned one though. This is the first time I've sort of spent uh, a considerable amount of time with one and I'm really impressed. They're, yeah, they're sort of everything I thought it would be really. And nice to see it this year, as I record this in uh, 2021, they've offered five different lefties, uh, which is great. Let's talk about the whole sassafras body thing because it's not something I was familiar with. It's not a term I'd heard really before. Um, I don't know really. All I can tell you is that it's quite weighty. This feels, when I first picked it up, when I first got it out of the box, I thought it, it felt quite heavy. Don't know if that will put some people off. Tonally though, I really can't tell the difference. Um, I guess it looks nice. Perhaps it would have been nice to see a different colour other than black is the only thing I would say, along with the fact that this model for the right-handers, there's also an HSH version, which would have been nice had we got the option of having a single coil in there. Uh, we're just stuck with the two humbuckers. 
but they are brilliant pickups in this there's no doubt about it and you get some great versatile tones because it, obviously it's got the coil taps as well now when i first got it out of the box i pulled the tone pot out and was sort of doing some a b in between those two sounds and there wasn't really much happening and i thought that was the coil taps but i was wrong because the coil taps are actually under the volume pot under the tone pot is a thing called a tone activation i'm not quite sure really what the deal is with that because it's quite subtle so i sort of after playing around for a little while just sort of left it in and didn't really touch it again although the coil taps are brilliant and it makes the whole thing a lot more versatile and hopefully you can hear that with the, some of the stuff I've recorded for some of the tracks today. The neck is nice. It feels comfortable. It's not like a, you know, it doesn't feel unnatural, although it's quite thin. It's sort of, it's a nice, it's got some nice dimensions to it. And you can get around it obviously uh, quite well all the way up to the top fret in terms of the reach. Let's talk about a couple of the things I'm not so keen about. In use, firstly, the one thing I noticed that on the three-way uh, selector switch there, there's a couple of dead spots in between the positions. And while I was playing, you know, we just sort of flicking through. Sometimes I wouldn't flick it all the way down, like there, just before it hits the bridge position. And it was actually, you'd get no output from the guitar whatsoever. So it might be worth checking that out if you're going to have a look at one of these. And the other thing was when I was playing this, it came with nines and when i was sort of um giving it a bit of welly just here the the string would get caught underneath the pickup there which is a real bugbear of mine sometimes with guitars when they do that i don't know if you can see that but the, the string will go down and get caught literally under the pickup there and you have to just sort of pull it back out again i did however break that string bizarrely and it was a strange break because i broke it up on like the up here on the 17th maybe the 19th fret right up the dusty end of the neck you know but the string actually broke right there while i was playing it uh, so i put a 10 on there and that felt a lot better obviously aside from that it's been really nice to use and i was impressed with how versatile it is particularly on lower gain settings the sort of sounds i would go for if i was using uh, a les paul or a gretsch or something like that this guitar could actually do it as well which i was impressed with a lot of that's to do with the pickups, I think. Maybe some of that is to do with the body, with the, this, this whole sassafras body. I don't know, but I was impressed with some of the tones I could get out of it rather than um, it being sometimes these are sort of perceived as a bit two-dimensional, you know. But this has great tone. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about it. And it's been uh, a joy to play. Right, that's nearly it for this week firstly just want to say a big thanks to the guys at fender in the uk for letting me borrow this guitar for this video much appreciated and this week's recommended listen is an album from 1994 by the band gun and the album is swagger uh this album was actually really big when it came out in the mid 90s they're an amazing british rock band and they're still sort of they're still going from time to time their biggest single off of this was a cover of word up by cameo that they did which in itself was amazing but their own tunes on there are absolutely brilliant and well worth checking out. So go and check it out. That's it for this week. Hope you've had fun and I'll see you on the next one.